Hello, my name is Michael and um, I'm about to give a, a bit of an update on things that have been happening recently in Moodle development, um, some new features that have come about in Moodle 2.7 and some features that we're working on now onwards uh, after 2.7. Um, so starting off, uh, recently added features, well we have had responsive themes in Moodle since 2.6 but we've actually committed to making that our, our default now. Um, we have two themes in Moodle now. One is called Clean and the other is called More. Um, clean is a very basic theme that um, you might like to play with um, and More is designed for people who, who don't have the skills to, to implement their own theme but want to customize a bit. Uh, the idea of these responsive themes is to allow you to create a course that will work on different sizes of screen and hopefully on different devices. We've been working very hard to make that a possibility for a while now. So the ultimate goal is to have one course uh, for your multiple devices. We've uh, created our own new editor. We've been using third-party editors now since uh, well way back in Moodle history and uh, so we've come out and, and decided to create our own editor and the reasons for doing that well first of all we wanted something that was faster uh, we wanted to be in control so that the content created in the editor would match what you see uh, in the, uh, the saved content uh, we wanted to uh, make the editor itself more accessible this is a big thing for education so we have to make sure that it works on, uh, on all sorts of browsers in all sorts of settings and with screen readers, etc. Uh, we also have to make sure that uh, it is uh, going to produce accessible content or at least guide people to, to be able to create accessible content. We also have a new equation editor. Um, if you're uh, generating formulas or, or uh, using symbols um, in, in mathematical notation, chemistry, those sorts of things, engineering, uh, you may find this useful and it's a bit more powerful than our previous equation editor uh, with um, a nice preview as well down the bottom. Access restrictions is something that's been involved in Moodle for a few versions now but the, uh, the latest version of this um, implements uh, some nice uh, very customizable controls. Before it was like a, a long nasty sort of form. Now uh, it's a modular system where you can add multiple restrictions and uh, combine them together. Uh, the restrictions can be uh, from a number of different sources, dates, uh, activity in other places. Now um, one of the obvious uses for this is to selectively release content um, but uh, perhaps a more powerful uh, purpose of this is to break from a one-size-fits-all course uh, to be able to allow branching so that you can direct students in a, down multiple different paths depending on their activity within the course uh, and hopefully that will allow you to reinforce concepts uh, in different ways. Assignment and quiz, probably our two uh, most uh, widely used uh, activities uh, have had a bit of work. Uh, assignment in its online text uh, submission plugin now uh, has word limits. Um, there have also been some changes to feedback um, how you you know control the sending of notifications about feedback and also the control of submissions from students so teachers can go in and um, now affect student submissions if they have that capability. Quizzes had a bit of an editing facelift and there's some improved reports there as well. Um, one thing we've been working on for about a year is a new logging and events system. Uh, this is something that's used throughout Moodle and, and it was very you know, widely spread. Um, we've come up with a very solid system now which is a, a lot more powerful and efficient than our previous system. Uh, admins and uh, people who are involved in the running of servers will be very happy with the, the new logging system for sure. But uh, as well as that, it's also going to be useful to um, all sorts of people including uh, researchers and educators to have a bit more of a clear picture about what events are able to take place in Moodle and uh, what can be monitored. Um, more on that in a minute. So moving on to the development that's been taking place now. We've been going through a period of planning um, and uh, these are the things that we've been working on in the last few weeks since the release of 2.7. Um, we've started work on an event monitor. 
Um, this is now based around the new events system. Uh, what it allows you to do is to um, monitor events as they occur and uh, if there's a certain threshold that's reached, for example, if there's uh, you know, 10 forum posts in a particular forum happening in a period of, say, you know, 10 minutes, you can set up a rule for that and then people can subscribe to that, they can monitor that particular rule uh, and the system will send them a, a message when that, uh, that threshold is reached. Um, so this is going to be useful for notifications about things that are happening in a course, um, things that teachers might be interested in paying attention to. I like to see this as sort of like a proactive uh, function of the learning management system in that it turns an ordinary teacher into sort of a superhero that shows up just at the right time um, and, and helps out uh, where there's you know some sort of need. Um, we've also, uh, based on the new um, logging in report system, we, we've also gone, gone further and we're looking at how we can include other data within Moodle um, and we've started to, to work on a new report builder um, within Moodle. This is something that has been done by a couple of other people in the past. Um, the report builder um, will allow you to create um, sort of user generated reports, a bit more ad hoc so you're not relying on developers to come up with SQL or um, the, the built-in reports if there's some particular information that you want to access and combine from within the Moodle logs or the other bits of information that are sort of more static within Moodle you will now be able to access those with this report builder. Uh, this will be useful for admins who want to gather information you know, for, for their own purposes or for, you know, you know, sort of institutional compliance or something, you know, like that. For researchers that are looking at learning analytics uh, or for teachers who are just interested in, in how their students are progressing in a particular aspect and want to discover more about that sort of data. Navigation. Um, we went through a period where we were trying to consolidate navigation into one block, so everything was sort of bunched into one place. Uh, the goal was to be able to navigate from anywhere to anywhere and um, that was uh, a very useful thing to be able to do. The problem is that with um, a responsive theme and uh, with the space that such navigation actually consumes, it becomes a bit of a, uh, um, an, well, a bit more cumbersome than, than you would really like. Um, so what we've done instead is we've decided to sort of start moving away from the current model of navigation and to to do so by focusing on a simpler user concept. We've had this concept of a course within Moodle uh, and that's been the main concept for a long time. Um, now we're sort of starting to also have a, a secondary concept which is the user uh, and to support that we're, we're looking at introducing things like uh, a user menu which a number of themes already have um, to enhance the uh, my page, the my home page, um, to make that a bit more functional and usable as something that, that universities and or institutions will want to, to invest in. Um, and to separate the notion of uh, someone's preferences from their profile, from, from the information about themselves, so that they have a single place to go for their settings and so on. So this is going to be a work in progress. Um, we've got a few of these things that we're sort of targeting straight away and we'll see how long that takes. The forum module, another one of our very widely used modules, is uh, getting a bit of attention. Um, accessibility and usability is something that we're targeting straight away. Um, we're wanting to make it easier for people who are using things like screen readers or um, supported uh, browsers to be able to make use of the forum. Um, we're also um, wanting to make it easier to subscribe to forums and to subscribe in different ways. So you can have a, a discussion thread that you're interested in and you can just focus on that rather than having to subscribe to a whole forum. The element library is something that will allow us to define different elements that are visual and functional within Moodle. Um, you can see here that uh, there are a number of different themes viewing a few different elements that are um, sort of within Moodle, sort of based around the same sort of data. Now, the whole point of this is to, to give something that developers can make use of consistently 
and then if there is a consistent use of certain controls and displays, uh, then themers uh, have a simpler job and can create a much more unified um, view of Moodle. And the ultimate uh, gain, gain from that is, is a consistent user interface uh, and something that will, will look better moving into the future. This is going to be something that will start now but probably will take um, will have ongoing effects for the next few years in terms of the user interface. Well, that's um, what we've been working on here at Moodle recently, and I hope that it brings you a better learning management system. If you have any feedback on this, be sure to keep your eye on the new features forum, and uh, we'll see you online. Bye.